Hey guys. So where I am right now, it's rainy and it's gray. And I know my kids are not really going to want to play outside because my son's just getting over a cold. I know they're just going to kind of want to hunker down inside. So now I'm like, okay, what are we going to do? <laughs> what is the agenda going to be for the day? So one of the things we're going to do is we're going to do a craft whenever we're hunkered down at home, instead of them just kind of watching TV or doing work on their computer, they have this, these little computer games they do now from school. But I try to be pretty strict with the screen time. No judgment. I get it. It's hard. Um, but one of the ways that I really, that really kind of helps keep them off of that is just to do some fun activities together. So one of the things I love to do is make little puppets. And the reason why I like this craft is because it has a life after the craft. Like when you make puppets, later we can do a puppet show. We give them little personalities and they're just really fun. And last time we made puppets, it was a craft that lived on for a while and the puppets hung out for a while. So I'm like, we're doing that again. So here's where I like to do it. I like to get it all prepped in advance. So right when I come downstairs, it's like ready to go. I cover the table in this crafts paper, just tape it down with some masking tape so that I'm not worried about them getting stuff on the table or glue or whatever. So just make a really nice workspace so that they can just play freely. And I always like to have it prepped in advance so that it's just ready to go. So I make them two separate workspaces. I also like to do this when I cook or like baking and stuff. I make them now two workspaces and I give them similar things. Cause even though they're not twins, they always want what the other one has. Um, and friends of mine that have twins, I know that that's an issue that they deal with. <laughs> and I also deal with it with my kids. So I gave them both very similar things so they won't want what the other one has. We have a brown paper lunch bag. I gave them both, my daughter's obsessed with unicorns right now. So I put different kind of felt in here. We're going to work on our scissor skills, very important. And we gotta supervise it, so we'll do that together. I gave them stickers, pipe cleaners, more stickers. My daughter's obsessed again with the unicorns. And these are these really fun things. These are just like glitter tape and you cut them and just stick them down. I also gave some to my son, some little pom poms and googly eyes in here. They both have glue. And these are these really fun little um, puffy paints where you just draw them out and notice like these really fun like puffy paints. So these are awesome too. I gave them um, individual ones of those. And now when they come down, they each have their own kit. I won't be stressed out because it's already out, so it's great. The other thing I do too is when we go on road trips, I also give them both a bin with different books and little toys and their treats. And they each have their own little bin that they stick in the car next to them. So, and it's really similar to this. They both have things in them. Um, so that's kind of what gave me this idea. I always like having their own little workspace. Anyway, cool. Let's get crafty. Let's, let's, let's make some crafts. We're doing it. We're getting crafty. First, I'm going to get some coffee. Got some serious rain today. The other thing I forgot to mention, snacks. It definitely helps when you put some snacks <laughs> next to it keeps them engaged. These are amazing. I like the really long green tongue. Oh my gosh. Here, wait, hold your tongue down. Let me see your tongue. No. That is so cute, Peanut. You mean where? It's where? so cute. I love it. It's weird, cute, cute weird. It's perfect weird. Okay guys, thanks for getting crafty with us and it is on to the next activity. I gotta think of something really physical. So usually I make up some kind of game where I'm chasing them around. So I think, usually it's more of a workout for me, but at least it gets them, <laughs> it gets them moving. So we're gonna go do that, on to the next. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you know when I put up another video. And I'll see you guys soon.